G'day, today we're going to take a look at carbon fibre propellers. I've got two different types here, this is the Tiger Motor, or T-Motor as they're known as, uh, carbon fibre propeller. These are $65 a pair, so relatively expensive. And these are the Gem Fans, these are only $23 a pair, quite a bit cheaper. So let's have a look and see why they're so different. Both of these propellers are 12 inches long and they're designed to bolt straight onto a T-Motor Navigator Series pancake type motor without the need for a prop adapter. So you can save a little bit of weight there. Right from the very start we can see the Tiger Motors come in a box. So you may think, who cares, so what, it's just a box. Well, it does add an extra layer of protection during shipping to you. So I mean, quite rugged. Try doing that with um, just these plastic wrapped ones. Now, Tiger Motor put a lot of effort into there presentation and packaging and it's quite evident when you go to their website. The propellers come in these sleeves. They also come with the end covers, the screws and copper bushes for four and five millimeter shafts. So they're not plastic bushes like the real cheap and nasty propellers. The central hole in the propeller is six millimeters. Now the gem fans, they're only $23 a pair. They just come in the plastic packaging like so. There's no bushes, there's no end covers, there's no screws, no nothing, just the propellers themselves. There's virtually no detailed product information on the GemFam website, so you'll have to rely on a retailer's website instead, such as the boltrc.com website. Lots of great information there. Now there is a pitch difference between these two. The T-Motor is four pitch, whereas the GemFam knockoffs are 5.5. So eCalc reckons there's going to be about 20% more thrust with the 5.5 pitch. Now weight wise, T-Motor prop is 14 grams as advertised and the gem fans, 13 grams. Now the finish of the gem fans is a lot rougher. We can see evidence here where, I'm not sure if this is coming up on the camera or not, but um, we can see evidence here where it's been rubbed or sanded back by hand. We have a nice uh, shiny finish here, which I wouldn't expect from proper carbon fibre and it goes quite dull here. So it's been touched up along here and uh, along here and on this side as well. The uh, T-Motor props are just, there's no evidence of, uh, of that at all. It's just a nice, uniform, even dull finish you'd expect from uh, carbon fibre. So let's take a look at the holes. As you can see on the Tiger Motor holes, they're nicely finished, there's no burring, there's no rough edges. They've been properly drilled out. But when we look at the gem fans, we can see the holes have a burred edge. It's just a rougher finish. It's like the drill bit was blunt. Okay, let's do a balance test. I've got a uh, Dubro prop balancer here, and we're gonna put the Tiger Motor prop on it first. Now because the finish on the Tiger Motor props is so clean, uh, the prop just absolutely locks into these retainers. Look at that, that's straight out of the box. That's pretty damn good, let's just flip it 180. I'd say that's pretty well balanced. Now because these gem fan holes have got some burring around the edges, I'm just going to clean them up with some 240 grit sandpaper. There we go, doesn't need a huge amount. Let's see what we get with the gem fan. Well it's definitely heavy on one side. that 180 
here. Okay, definitely a little bit of work to do there. We're going to have to, um, this is obviously the heavy side. It's going to need a little bit of work. So despite the, um, the rubbing, we can see here out of the factory, it wasn't quite enough. So what I've done here on one of the gem fans, I've actually put a bit of uh, tape on the leading edge there. So put this on the Gibro balancer. So I'm pretty happy with the end result there. That's that's a lot better than what it was out of the box. So you will need to balance the gem fans. Unlike the Tiger Motor props, the Tiger Motor props are just brilliant out of the box. They just work, but the gem fans do need a little bit of work. So like most things, you tend to get what you pay for. So the T-Motor for $65 a pair or $130 for a set of four if you've got a quad, they're relatively expensive considering you can buy a set of four plastic props for a couple of bucks. They have six millimeter central holes, they come with copper bushes, not cheaper, nasty plastic ones. You've got the end covers and hex screws. The gem fan is only 23 bucks for a pair. You've got a four millimeter central hole, no box, no sleeve, no screws, no bushes, and they will need a little bit of work. You will need to balance them. Now, because the gem fans have a four millimeter central hole, you don't need any bushes, and they go straight onto a Tiger Motor Navigator Series motor. Now, because I've got the Tiger Motor propellers as well, I can use the end covers and screws that came with those to hook up the gem fans. It's a fairly tight hole where the screws are. like so. Given the price differential, one's almost three times the, the cost of the others. It's not entirely fair to compare them. But the gem fans are gonna be fantastic to practice with. Build up some stick time and some confidence. And if you break a $23 pair of uh, propellers, who cares? It's certainly better than uh, busting a set of uh, $65 uh, propellers. The genuine Tiger Motor props came from Rise Above Aerials in New South Wales, who also supplied my Wukong M and Tiger Motor motors. And the gem fan props came from Bolt RC in Perth. Now I've had really great service from both these suppliers and can recommend both. Mark from Bolt RC even took the time to give me a phone call to see how things were going. Absolutely brilliant service. So it's a quick look at them on the bench. Next thing to do is to bolt them onto the quad and go flying.